Here, I have the Yeti cooler bag. Uh, it's called the Day Tripper. I uh, picked it up to have a portable cooler to have on my motorcycle. I'm going through town. I want something I can throw like meat and fish, chicken in, that if I go and ride for a couple hours from the gas station or from the grocery store, then I'm not gonna worry that I'm gonna be throwing up all night. So I wanted something that would keep uh, some, uh, some meats, vegetables, something I like to drink cool uh, while on the back of my bike. Yeti's a pretty trusted name for when it comes to coolers. So I thought I'd give this thing a try, give you a little one over on it. Um, things I appreciate, it seems pretty rugged. Um, it's got this super snazzy little latch, folds up and uh, there's a magnetic closure. Uh, super nice inside is, it's just a big single tub. So there's no real seams. Well, there's welded seams on the inside, but so it's not gonna leak. So you could fill it with ice. Um, I have an ice pack that I brought from home and uh, half of a, uh, a lime. Okay. So you could probably fit, probably fit five or six beers in there. I uh, could definitely fit a couple chicken breasts, a couple steaks. Um, folds down like your kind of classic lunch sack style thing. Um, the cool part about it is that it'll actually kind of fold flat, right? Or it's not not rigid in its size. So the way that happens is you kind of push the sides in, fold it over. It has a hard er bottom, um, so it kind of provides some protection from things being crushed. I rode out here with an avocado in here, and it was cool. Um, and then kind of locks in like that so that's it all folded up so you could stash that in the top of a pannier or you know something like that doesn't take up a ton of space but i think it has a lot of value um i've yet to test it on a trip of over a couple hours uh it seems to keep things relatively cool um so that's great i would think the ice pack would be great if you're going on a long trip you know i would buy something uh frozen from the grocery store you know like some frozen steaks or uh, I don't know, some frozen shrimp or something like that. Um, I really like it for that idea to be able to take protein out on the trail because uh, then I can make something super delicious. Not to say that vegetables aren't delicious. But, um, yeah, and like I said, it's easily washable. Um, you can kind of fold it down so that the hook goes on one of the the top tabs. So it'll be a, you can, it's kind of expandable in a way. Right? So that way you could probably fit six beers in there. It's a little bit bigger, but then there's a handle on the top and these woo, these little loops uh, for the hook. So you could use those to strap it down nice and secure. Um, all in all, uh, I would say it's okay. It's not bad. It's a little pricey, but um, it beats the hell out of getting food poisoned when you're on your motorcycle on a camping trip. So yeah, that's the Yeti. Yeti Day Tripper, and I would say I'd give it a try. It's pretty sweet. Um, stoked to try some other cool bags as well. See what else is out there. And uh, but yeah, for now this is my uh, my go-to bag. And uh, definite pros are the fact that it folds up. That's awesome. Cons, it's kind of a weird shape, but and it's expensive. But aside from those two things, you know what else is expensive? Motorcycles. So. New point, I guess. <laughs> there we are. All right, Yeti Day Tripper, helpful thing to have on the trail when you want to eat real good. This is ADV Eats. I'm Brent, and I'm telling you to get out and stay out. <laughs> All right, yeah, if you like this, subscribe for more gear reviews. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, uh, leave any comments you like. Love to hear what you think. So, thanks.